The Library Mice, Part 1 Once upon a time, a family of mice lived inside the Astor Library in New York City. This family was huge, with mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, uncles and aunts, grandmothers, grandfathers, and cousins, all living in tiny holes in the walls, under the reading tables and librarians' desks, and even in the bookshelves. The library was a great place to live, with lots of crumbs in the librarians' lunchroom. Even the paste used to make the books was good to eat. And best of all, no cats allowed! Some of the books were about famous people. The mouse mother sometimes named their babies after them. One little mouse was named Bonaparte, after the great French general, Napoleon Bonaparte. Bonaparte had two brothers, Caesar and Hannibal, named after the famous generals of ancient Rome and Carthage. The head of the family was Maximilian Mouse, called Maxi Mouse for short. Maximilian was a wise, old, strong, and very brave mouse. He had been named after the famous Emperor of Mexico. One day, something big happened. The Astor Library was filled with workmen packing the books into crates and loading them onto carts in front of the library. Big horses hauled away the carts each morning and hauled the empty carts back each night. Maxi Mouse called a family meeting. Our home is being destroyed, he said. We need volunteers to find out what is going on. Bonaparte was the bravest young mouse and quickly raised his paw. I will ride in a horse cart with the book crates to go and see where they are taking the books, he said. How will you get back? asked Maxi Mouse. But Bonaparte was smart and brave. I will stay on the cart when it returns empty to the Astor Library. Bravo, brave Bonaparte! Bravo! said all the mice in unison. Bravo! Bonaparte's mother gave him a backpack full of food for the dangerous journey. She put the pack on his little back and gave him a kiss goodbye. Bonaparte jumped onto a cart full of crates and waved goodbye to his family as the horse pulled the cart away. The trip was long, but the cart finally stopped. Bonaparte saw that men were unloading the book crates and taking them inside a gigantic new white building. He hopped off the cart and scampered into the dark and empty hall. Inside, the men were unpacking the crates and putting the books onto new shelves. Bonaparte suddenly felt hungry and remembered his backpack. It was still on the cart. He looked out to see the cart leaving, now empty of crates, but still holding his backpack. How hungry he was. One of the horses was munching his own lunch. Golden oats were spilling onto the street. Bonaparte ran out and snatched a hatful. Then he ran back inside the new building and found a tiny dark space where he could eat his oats and rest. Very tired and full of oats, Bonaparte was soon fast asleep. Meanwhile, the workmen finished unpacking the crates and went home. All the carts were unloaded and hauled away to return to the Astor Library. Bonaparte slept on, alone in the huge, empty building. Back at the Astor Library, his family was waiting. Caesar and Hannibal and Mother Mouse were anxious to hear what had happened. But all the carts returned empty, without Bonaparte. They met each cart that returned, calling, Bonaparte! 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 
No one answered. Hannibal scurried onto the last cart, but all he found was the tiny backpack Mother Mouse had made for Bonaparte, unopened. The entire family cried and fretted. Maxie Mouse said, Tomorrow Caesar and Hannibal will ride a cart and search for their brother. All of the mice jumped up and down in joy and hugged the brave brothers who would rescue their Bonaparte. End of part one.